Welcome back to CI Living on WCIA 3. Did you know that certain foods bring good luck? Well, that's the case with what our next guest is making in today's CI Kitchen. We're making pot stickers for today's dinner and a movie with Yuji Nizuma. Yes. Was I close? Yes. Okay. Exactly. The owner of Kamakura. Yeah. Welcome well, back. I'm actually a general manager. My family oh. owns it. <laughs> okay. It's, it's all in it's the all family. It's all around. That's family. good. There it's all, you go. we're, we're really glad you're here. We're excited to make some pot stickers, yes. but we want an update because for those who don't know, there was a com there was yeah. a fire in Kamakura. There was a fire. And we're dying because we can't eat your sushi was, right now. It was a little bit traumatic, but um, as a result, we're doing a lot of renovations for the dining room and the kitchen. Oh, cool. So it's going to look a lot better once we get back. So it's uh, It looks good of, before, though. <laughs> it did. So, um, Do we have a goal for when we're going to reopen? Well, before I was thinking May 1st, but we had to push that date back to May 6th. Okay. So we're... Hoping May 6th Kay. right now. We got our fingers crossed for you. So yes. what yes. are we going to be making? We're making so pot stickers. I don't have my own kitchen anymore <laughs> at the restaurant. So I had Welcome to make, to ours. I made this all by myself at home. Nice. And I started out with a uh, pound of ground pork. And then I chopped about one-fourth pound cabbage. What is the name, oh, before we go any further, what is the name in Japanese for a pot sticker? Oh, it's gyoza. I'm sorry. Gyoza. It, yeah, it's spelled like, G-Y-O-Z-A. Okay. All right. Yes. And, is, and that's part of the traditional Japanese cuisine? Um, you know, a lot of stuff gets transferred from China over to Japan. I mean, there's sure. like kind of like a cultural mix there. So they like sushi and whatnot, and we like... Ramen actually comes from China, and, okay. uh, and pot stickers come from China. And it's kind of like a dumpling, right? Yes, it's kind of like a dumpling. There might be like small changes to ingredients based on cultures, but sure. I mean, this is going to be cool. roughly traditional Japanese okay. flavors. All right, so back to it now. Okay, so I put in a pound of uh, ground pork, about a fourth pound of cabbage, a little bit of ginger, I just chopped it up, a, a clove of garlic, just one of these, and salt and pepper, a uh, little bit of sesame oil, a little bit of soy sauce, and uh, salt and pepper. That's it. Now, can you eat these raw? No, you cannot. That, okay. that would give you maybe like trichinosis or something. Okay, it's, but it's, there it. are pot stickers that you can eat raw, no? Um, you, there might be a re recipe for that, but our recipe is like a cooked one, for, and there's no way you would eat this raw. Okay. <laughs> That's good, yeah. <laughs> so, so, so we're going to fry them up. Yes, I was just going to show you how to actually make... A dumpling itself. Do you actually quick. make cool. those yourself? No, are these you... are, you can buy these in a package. In fact, I should say that as uh, you need to buy the skins, the sauce, and sesame oil, probably at an Asian food market, not at your gr regular grocery store. But these okay. could all be getting at your... Why? Community. What's the difference? Well, I think they just have different products that they hold on to, and, um, you know, they can sell different things better at an Asian food grocer than a regular gro food grocer. Oh, okay. hey. Who knew? It's a fun tip Makes for sense. You. All right, so not serving these raw. We're yes. going to go to the Asian food store. <laughs> and this, again, is if we're going to make it on our own. Which yes. You, which you can, or you can just go to Kamakura. And, yeah, yeah we could, exactly. Because okay. I know how to make it for you. Make it. So I'm just going to fold it in half. Like I a taco? Put, yeah, like a taco. And I put water around <laughs> it. That's actually how I Some teach Some things my, are cross-cultural. No, that's how I actually <laughs> teach my employees. I tell them to make a taco. And I use uh, my thumb to hold it like this and my middle finger on the outside, and I'm using my middle finger to that's squish inside it, yeah, to it. push it forward so I can make this kind of like frilled edge. And Voila. that's about it. And then hmm. maybe like in a, you know, at the restaurant, we mass produce these, but they're all done by hand, just in that manner. So yeah. yeah. So but. so this is here. Yeah, we'll pull it over this way and get a good look at what that looks like. That's that's kind of cool. So again, you put you chose to put pork in there. We, we, can you put a variety of different things? Um, or? I think pork is the traditional meat that would yeah. go in there. But it's um, like I said, it's kind of pot stickers come from China. There's different recipes and different kind of ingredients that can go in there. And you guys focus on the traditional Japanese. Yes, like our, our flavor is traditional Japanese, yes. Okay. All right. Well, yep. we're going to fry those up. Yep. And we'll be able to try it a little later. Yes. Because we're not eating them <laughs> raw. No. Right? <laughs> no, thank you. Okay. Well, hey, how would you like to go to Kamakura for lunch or dinner once they reopen, of course? It's today's mm -hmm. CI Giving. Yeah, you can go online right now and check out that menu, and you might have a chance by going online to CILiving.tv.